Commission Claire Brown says the situation was unfortunate with the interruption having occurred in the presence of dignitaries. He says it could have been better handled. If a concern was there, then the officer should have raised the concern with the principal who, if she could not handle it, would have escalated it up to the director of education or to the minister of education. According to the education director, Floyd said he was concerned that attendees weren't seated in alternate benches. Brown notes even in that case, social distancing protocols weren't being broken. The cabinet of Antigua and Barbuda would have decided, and I believe subsequently it was enshrined in law, that um, the schools would have been going back to, to full face-to-face. And in order for that to happen, then we would have been relaxing the physical distancing protocols in educational institutions for school and school-related functions. Brown adds the hosting of the ceremony would have been further cleared by the graduation guidelines. Now, we would have received from the Ministry of Health guidelines pertaining to the, the um, conduct of graduations. And those guidelines were applied as the Ministry of Health would have prescribed. The education director says all of the guidelines were adhered to. I saw the hand washing stations in operation. The Antigua Girls High School even had masks on hand to give to anybody who came through. The education director says as one requirement in the graduation guidelines, the size of the function was according to the capacity of the church. Sherilyn Bees reporting for ABS News.